Hi, welcome to the Creator's Compendium. In this short video, I will show you how to use keyframes to animate objects in CapCut. Keyframes are markers that let you set the position, size, or rotation of an object at specific points in time. By adding multiple keyframes, you can animate movement or changes between those points. Here you can see that I have already imported my background and three other objects that I want to animate in my scene. I start by dragging the background onto the track. Then I choose the first object I wish to animate. In this instance, I'm going to start with the man walking. Once I've dragged his image onto the track, I can adjust the position and scale to suit. I'm going to start with him on the far side of the road and have him walk across the crossing. Now I need to set the keyframes. This will set his position wherever I place the keyframes. I will put the first keyframe at the start of his track, where I want him to first appear in the scene. I then move the cursor further along the timeline and adjust the position of the object, where I want it to be at that moment in the scene. I then add another keyframe. I can drag the cursor along the timeline or simply play the video to see how the object moves between the two keyframes. I only need to add one more keyframe at the end and position the man in the foreground, but if you needed more movement, you could add as many keyframes as you like. Notice that when I move the man into the foreground, he is not scaled correctly. I can adjust the scale at the final keyframe, and the scale will gradually adjust between the keyframes. His animation is a little too quick for my liking, so I will slow down the speed. It is possible to move keyframes by clicking on the white dots. These indicate the keyframes, and dragging them forwards or backwards. If needed, you can also delete them by pressing the delete key. Next I will add the bird. I will need to remove the green background to this animation, and I do that simply by clicking on the background tab and remove using the chrome key selection. Once again, I scale and position the object where I want it to enter the scene. I place the cursor at the start of the object's track and add the first keyframe. Now I just move the cursor along the timeline and place the object where I want it to be at that moment. Each time I do this, I add a new keyframe.
Finally, I add the moped. I make sure I position it behind the man. I repeat the process of adjusting the scale and position, adding the start and end keyframes. I finish by adding audio effects, making sure they align with the appropriate objects. I adjust the volume of each sound effect and use the fade in and out sliders. I also add a fade out effect at the end.